today we're gonna film a requested video by one of my viewers of what's on my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So let's get into the video. If you guys have not seen my unboxing video, you guys can click up here when I received my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra phone. I used to have a Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus, but I really wanted to get the Ultra mainly because of the nightography. I do film at concerts a lot and at night, like when we chase bioluminescence at the beach. So it was very important that I got a camera that would be able to capture in low lighting. So. That's why I made the decision to switch to the Galaxy S24 Ultra and I just gave my dad the S22 Plus, which was in still really great condition. This is probably what a five month update and I still love this phone. I have no regrets on switching, purchasing it, not at all. This phone is so great. It, it is a little heavy, especially now that I put this case on it, but I highly recommend it. The camera quality is amazing where more Often than not, I actually opt to grab my phone and film for even in my home as opposed to my actual camera, which is crazy. I feel like the sound quality is still good. The battery life is great. I have no complaints about it, like zero complaints. There's not one thing that I'm like, oh no, I definitely don't like this. One thing that I did learn, which I did not know because my former phone did not have a stylus, is I've been using the remote uh, to take like, photos far away from me pretty often and it's really really come in handy one of my friends mentioned that you can actually control your uh, phone from your watch which I need to look into but I'm sure I would be able to get use out of that so just for the exterior tour of it um, I do have the case to fi case um, I did receive a lot of comments of people saying to not purchase a case to fight case, but this one did say the Corey Page designs. So, I mean, it's giving credit right here. Maybe if they learned from their mistakes and they put the names now on the cases. This one did say it had the recognition on it. So I ordered this one and then it has the little kickstand. I do have the silver color and I do still do not have a screen protector. So I gotta get that. Let's jump into what's actually on my phone. So I'm gonna put the phone right here. Hopefully this works out. The only other time that I remember screen recording is very early on in my channel when I filmed my iPad video. So I hope that this works out. So I'm gonna start recording. So, oh, it doesn't. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a noob to screen recording, but I guess you want to actually close your phone. It doesn't screen record, so I can't show you guys my front screen. I don't know, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I'll show you guys right here. So this is my screen. I have like the little doodle of the time at the top. I hide my icons and I have the little weather up here also. Then I also have my calendar reminders up here because at the beginning of the day, wow, okay. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, why is this proving to be so difficult? So this is a little photo that I took with Fieldy at the Dodger Stadium and I love it so much. And it was so cool. If you go into the wallpaper section, there's different, I don't even know if the previous Galaxy, well the Galaxy I had, the S22, had this option, which I'm sure I've looked before because I've always customized my front um, wallpaper. But if you really focus, the background is cartoon-like. So me and him are normal and then it, it like doodled everything. So that's why I did the doodle little time at the top. Here, look, can you see? So if you could see, they're all drawn. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. So let's get into the actual phone now. Let's start this back up. Okay. So I'm gonna put it right here. So this is my home screen. I have my weather widget at the top um, so that I always know what the weather is like. I need to know what I'm gonna wear throughout the day. Then I have my little Google bar right here. I like to do that just so I can do a quick Google search. Then I have my Spotify right here so I can jump right into whatever I wanna listen to. Um, the Spotify app is very important, which I'm a little upset about their price hikes and 
I might switch to Apple Music. I don't know if that's possible. And then these are my little widgets. Um, I customized them. I think I used the nature theme or something like that, but it, it kind of falls into that whole doodling. So these are my four most commonly used apps is my phone, my telephone, my messaging, my YouTube analytics, and then my camera. So I have those all at the front. And my photo is the same photo I've had on my phone since we've taken it. I love this photo so much. Um, me and my brother and my dad met one of my famous artists and we got to go backstage or go to the tour van. So it was like a very memorable day to me and like one of the best days ever. So I always have it on here. Um, you can't really see, but I actually do have corn rolls on. Um, I was so little at that time. It was during the time I was running cross country. So that's my first screen then my second i just i kind of just swipe um i have my calendar yes i do make sure that everything's on a calendar all the time including my credit cards if new shows are coming out new movies then i like to have it all on here so this is just how i stay very organized and i customized it where it was see-through because i do not like solid like even the spotify one right here bothers me so much that it's not transparent so this is my calendar and I like to have it as big as possible and on my second second screen or second window because I go to it so often. Pretty much every day I look at it. Then my third one is my cash back. I have many credit cards because I was one time trying to really, really build my credit and I was trying to make sure that it wasn't going to be affected if I opened up credit cards later on. So this is just all my cash back. This is actually using the Notes app and I just was able to create a widget to have it on the front screen. So I thought that was really nifty. Um, so those are my three screens. Then this is a disaster. This first, like when you slide up of all of the apps on my phone, I do not go to pretty much any of this on the first screen. I mainly have it on this second screen. And the second screen is the one that I have it all organized and any apps that I have all nicely put here. Okay, sorry, my camera was dying. There's so many interruptions in this video. Um, so back... I realized I didn't have the touches on, so I'm gonna turn that on. Back to what I was saying. So these are my different folders for all the apps that I pretty much use and they're not stock. Well, if they're stock, phone stock apps, then I'll pretty much file them in here if I use them. So my first one is my auto. That's for my gas. Um, I use these apps so that I get a discount on it. And my progressive app for my insurance and then Uber for the once in a while that I take Uber, which is like only been twice. Um, and then this is my social media folder. Um, I have my Instagram, my influencer. I have a video on influencer. If you guys don't know what influencer is, um, I'll link it right up here and below in the description. I have a, my Facebook app, WhatsApp, because my dad uh, likes to send me videos on there. Um, and then my brother, he's in New Zealand. He also likes to talk on WhatsApp. Um, and then my Facebook Messenger, TikTok. I actually don't use TikTok really at all, but I have it on there because my friend loves to send me TikToks, even though I told her so many times I don't have TikTok, so I just downloaded it. My messages and then my Pinterest. And then my food and drink is my McDonald's app, my Starbucks, my Dunkin', Panera, Chick-fil-A, and then Yelp. Finally just downloaded Yelp because there were so many times I was like, you cannot review this app because you don't have the app. And I'm like, fine. So I finally just downloaded the app, which is funny. I have the Chick-fil-A app. <laughs> I don't ever use it. It's so bad. Um, I actually do use the Panera one and the McDonald's one a lot and the Starbucks. Dunkin' I don't go to that often. And then here's my shopping app. Um, I have my offer up, Amazon, Michaels, Ulta Beauty, Target. And then this is my tea life. It's just on Tuesdays, you get free um, like deals. And then my Adidas, I actually specifically got that for the corn drop that happened. So I'll probably be deleting that. This is my investment folder. I have my Robin Hood, my Safe Moon, and my Coinbase, which I lost my code for Safe Moon when I lost my wallet. So I don't know how I'm gonna get into that. My YouTube app, anything that has to do with YouTube. All my credit cards are my banking folder. So you get to see all the credit cards that I have. And if you have any questions on any of them, let me know in the comments below. I have my savings with SoFi Savings and I really love it. They have a 4.6% APY 
here's my photos. So I have my um, camera, the gall galleries. They look a little weird because of the um, theme that I have. Then my Google Photos. Then I have my GoPro app. I haven't used it much because I just unboxed that for my birthday. And then Amazon Photos so I can add photos to our Alexa. Here's any apps that I have for work. Here's my entertainment. I have my Roku just in case I lose my remote. I lose it often, so I have my virtual remote on my phone. Furbo so I can watch my dogs when I'm not home. The NBA app, which I'm probably gonna delete because the NBA is over now. My Patreon, I listen to one podcaster and only pay for one podcast, and that's What's the Juice. And I pay for their top tier because I really, really love that podcast so that's with patreon and then hbo max i had that also for basketball they had tnt on there so probably gonna have to delete that and then the ballpark app is the app that's used for baseball games so that's that then we are looking to move not urgently but like just looking so if anything pops up i'm always looking through these apps to you know see if any homes are available in the areas that we want with the things that we want so we're not really uh there's no need for us to move so we're not trying to be impatient here's my health app that includes my health care my watch there's this lose it app um i haven't used it yet but i've seen this one or the, i've seen this one reel and it like calculated all of the nutrition out of every single product you ate and actually broke it down into a journal so i thought that was really cool so i want to look into that more and then ollie is my dog's food subscription ollie is my dog's food subscription so i have that on here so i can change his meals anytime he needs something maybe i want to like feed him something different for this month's delivery i could do that on the app then there's my home, my Philips Hue lights, which never work. And then my Google Home, my music, so that includes Ticketmaster and just Spotify. And then my drive and then my email. So I can't say I do a lot on my phone. I haven't customized it much. I customized it somewhat, but that's pretty much what's on my phone. I also have my credit cards if I swipe up. Um, I just recently started using the Apple Pay or Samsung Pay because I was just like so worried about, I don't know, like people stealing my information. <laughs> And then when I lost my wallet, I just got all my digital cards on my phone and it's just kind of stayed on there now. But yeah, that's a tour of what's on my phone. Like I said, I didn't customize it that much. My favorite feature is probably my calendar, such a necessity for me. And then number two is I love the fact that I was able to change my background for my front of my phone to cartoon doodle and then us we stamped normal form that's so cool let me know like things that i might be missing out on my phone and let me know down in the comments what type of apps i should add or widgets or if you have any questions and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video if you guys subscribe and then you guys can also hit the little bell icon and you guys can get notified anytime i post a video so i'll see you guys next time bye